welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm predicting the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58. San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The rematch four years in the making. This time, of course, with Brock Purdy, a quarterback for the 49ers. Patrick Mahomes still there for the Chiefs. Travis Kelsey still there for the Chiefs. 49ers still pretty much have the same team for everybody else but Brock Purdy. But, you know, such is, such is football, yeah? Brock Purdy's the one that's different, you know? Better than Garoppolo, though, to be honest, at this point. But the Chiefs versus the 49ers, a rematch of 2020 Super Bowl 54. This is 58. We're, after this year, one away from 60. Crazy. Super Bowl 58. With that being said, the Chiefs are playing their best football right now. The Chiefs are playing their best football that they've played all season right now. They are the best team, hottest team right now in the league. The 49ers, they've gotten lucky to get here. The Packers, they should have lost to the Packers. Jordan Love threw one down the middle. Last play of the game, lost the game. Detroit Lions choked when they should have won the NFC Championship. The Niners got a couple of breaks and made the other teams pay, but they got pretty lucky to get here. Brock Purdy has game managed his way to a Super Bowl. Now, here's your question. If the 49ers basically barely could win against the Packers or the Chiefs, not the Chiefs, the Lions, what makes you think they're going to win against the Chiefs? To me, I don't like their chances here. I really don't. Because it's either or, one of two things. It's either or, they were basically given their best shot by two other teams. And they came back and got through anyway. Or, they just did not play well this playoffs at all. And they are completely fraudulent. And... The Lions and Packers didn't have enough experience as an intangible to win those football games. But the 49ers did have that experience. No matter what, they had the experience to win that game, both games. The Chiefs, on the other hand... They've had a pretty good playoff run. Started in the wild card round, beat the Dolphins in the cold bowl, the freezing bowl. They go and beat the Bills at Highmark in Buffalo. Last second win, of course, thanks to the missed field goal to wide ride. But Chiefs got hot in that game. They got really hot in that game, and they haven't looked back since. They looked a bit better against the Dolphins, but they got really hot against the Bills, and then... Haven't really looked back since. Then, of course, they won the AFC title game against the Ravens in Baltimore. 17-10. Got enough points. Defense was absolutely lights out. The offense stalled out at times, but they still got enough points to win the match, win the game. They're in the Super Bowl. The Chiefs are playing their best football right now, I would think. Defensively and offensively, the Chiefs are playing their best football. And there's one thing that I'd like to say is that Steve Spagnolo defensively is amazing at calling the game, at creating the game plan, and especially game plan against Kyle Shanahan. He really is. If you saw how that first Super Bowl went, other games against the 49ers have went, the Chiefs have very well defensively set up for those games. And I don't really see how they won't in this one either. Because Spagnolo is a very good defensive coordinator. He may have sucked as a head coach for the St. Louis Rams. Remember, he used to be the Rams head coach. But he's a very good position coach. He's a very good coordinator. 
and maybe he wasn't just he just wasn't ready 12 years ago or whatever 12 13 14 years ago to be the coach of the Rams maybe he wasn't ready says he wants another chance as a head coach he'll probably get it if Andy Reid retires whether be enemy the enemy comes back, he could be as a head coach, and Spagnolo would still be the DC, or maybe Spagnolo's the coach. But he's been a really good defensive coordinator, and he's a very good game planner. And I think that really matters. The fact that Steve Spagnolo is such a great game planner, a game caller, is very good at making a defensive game plan and it working. In my book, he's very good at that. And. I'm glad to see how much better he's gotten because I remember how bad of a head coach he was with the Rams. I, I remember. I remember. So, you know, he's a very good defensive coordinator. Very good defensive coordinator. But even back then, the defensive side of the ball was still the better, more interesting side of the ball with the Rams. So, maybe he's always been more of a defensive guy. I mean, he's a defensive coordinator, so... Maybe he's always been more of a defensive guy, and that's been more of his forte. If he has a good offensive coordinator, which the Rams certainly did not have back then, and they didn't have the talent to back it up besides Steven Jackson. Well, there you go. But back to my point. Steve Spagnolo, he knows how to scheme against Kyle Shanahan and that offense. And I think... For some reason, I think he will have another master class of a defensive game call, game plan, again. Now, the 49ers, I don't see Brock Purdy breaking down that defense if the game plan is as smothering as it was before or at moments. I don't see Brock Purdy making that big play to change the dynamic because, to me, Brock Purdy is a straight-up game manager. He is a game-managing quarterback that he cannot change the game. It's about the other players on that offense to change the game, as in George Kittle, Brandon Ayu, Debo Samuel. It's about the other players on that offense to change the game. And to me, use check. It's not about Brock Purdy. It never was about Brock Purdy. It, it says something when Trey Lance... Now, I will say this. It does say something when Trey Lance never did well, that well, with that team, with those players. But they had to change the system for Trey Lance. But they already had a system like what Purdy runs for Garoppolo and Alex Smith and guys like that. So, my point is Trey Lance was never made to be a 49er. Brock Purdy was. Excuse me with that. Brock Purdy was, okay? He was made to be a San Francisco 49er. But he's still a game-managing quarterback. With the players that he has around him, of course he's winning. Of course he's making the throws. I wouldn't say plays, but he's making good throws. He's making good checkdowns. He's having plays. He's he just not screwing it up. His job is to not screw things up. But I think that Chiefs defense will get on him like wide on rice. Just like they did Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson, even though, to me, I mean, he is the MVP, but I think he's a fraud because he can't win a playoff game and he's more of a... I don't know. I still think he's a fraud. He can't win a playoff game. When it matters, he just breaks. Just like the state game against the Tax Slayer Bowl. When it was Louisville, Mississippi State, and he's always broke down in the playoffs. He may be great in the regular season, but to me, the way they play just doesn't work in the playoffs either, the way he plays. But to me, he still has more talent. Lamar Jackson, this is probably the best thing I've ever said about him, he has more talent than Brock Purdy. Even I can tell you that. Lamar Jackson has more talent than Brock Purdy. And Lamar Jackson got shut down. And he had some good receiving talent. If they had thrown the ball, they had some good receiving talent in the Ravens. Niners do too. But Brock Purdy, 
I don't think he's going to be calm, zen, cool, Tom Brady-like in this Super Bowl. I just don't see it. Because here's why. Brock Purdy is going to realize that he's in the big pond now. He hasn't realized it yet. But he's going to realize the Super Bowl is another thing. A whole different thing. Patrick Mahomes has been here before. Four times. This is four Super Bowl. Four and five years. And he's never not made it to the AFC title game. Brock Purdy, truthfully, has never not at least made it to the NFC title game. He got injured last year. That's why they weren't in the Super Bowl. This year, he had a good season, and the Lions choked. So, there you go. But, Patrick Mahomes has the better history, the better experience, the better want, the hotter team, the better defense. For me, I gotta say, Kansas City Chiefs, and this time it won't even be that close, I'm gonna say Kansas City Chiefs, 37-21. 37-21 Kansas City. In the Super Bowl. Three touchdowns for the 49ers. Yeah. I'm going to say 37-21 Kansas City to win the Super Bowl. Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl 37-21 as my prediction. I guess technically it's well, it's not as close as the last time. 31-20, 37-21. It's still more points, but but I still think the Chiefs they won't have to come back down 10. That won't happen. This will probably be all Chiefs. Like, the, the 49ers are going to play from behind for most of this game. But Chiefs win the Super Bowl is my prediction. The Kansas City Chiefs will retain the Lombardi Trophy. And that's my prediction. So there you go. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification if you want to subscribe. Send Super Chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. But it's a play. The share friends and family. All that great stuff. I shall see you tomorrow for the review of the Super Bowl. And there you go. Have an amazing Super Bowl Sunday. Enjoy your mini holiday, so to speak. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. May the best team win.